Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to the enchanting world of Glenwood Springs, where winter has cast its magical spell over the town. Picture this, a blanket of snow covering every rooftop, twinkling lights adorning the streets, and the air filled with the sound of laughter and the sweet aroma of hot cocoa. It's the annual winter festival, a time of joy and celebration. Children are darting between stalls, their cheeks rosy with excitement, while parents exchange warm smiles, their breath visible in the crisp air. But beneath this festive surface, there's a whisper of unspoken fears waiting to be uncovered. So, buckle up as we dive into this chapter of mystery and wonder. Now, this reminds me of those classic tales where curiosity leads to unexpected adventures. Meet Evelyn Evie Hart, a 12-year-old with curly chestnut hair and bright green eyes that seem to hold the secrets of the universe. Alongside her is Max Thompson, her best friend, whose sandy blonde hair and mischievous grin often hide his insecurities. Today, though Max's laughter feels a bit forced, as if he's sensing something deeper beneath the festival's magic. As they wander through the bustling square, Evie's attention is captured by a quaint cottage at the edge. Standing at the door is Clara Wells, the town's unofficial historian, her silver hair tied neatly in a bun, and warm brown eyes twinkling with kindness. Clara beckons them inside, her voice a gentle melody amidst the festival's noise. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. Inside Clara's cozy cottage, the air is thick with the scent of old books and the promise of stories yet to be told. Clara speaks of mysterious snow globes hidden in the attic of the old town hall. Each globe is a vessel of memories, reflecting the fears and regrets of the townsfolk. Evie's heart races at the thought of magic, while Max rolls his eyes, skepticism etched across his face. Come on, Evie, snow globes? Really? He chuckles, trying to lighten the mood, but Evie can see the flicker of doubt in his eyes. Clara's voice grows serious as she warns them of the emotional weight the globes carry. They hold more than just memories. They hold the essence of our past, the shadows we often choose to ignore. Evie's curiosity deepens, and she feels a pull towards the globes, a desire to uncover the stories they contain. Max, however, remains hesitant, his skepticism clashing with Evie's burgeoning belief in the magic of the globes. But what if I told you, these globes are more than just artifacts of the past. As the children leave Clara's cottage, the festival lights twinkle like stars against the darkening sky. Evie feels a sense of purpose ignite within her. They decide to explore the attic, to seek out the globes and the secrets they hold. The tension between Evie's belief and Max's doubt hangs in the air, a delicate thread that will test their friendship as they venture into the unknown. Little do they know, the globes are not just artifacts of the past. They are mirrors reflecting the very essence of Glenwood Springs, waiting to reveal the truths hidden beneath the snow. Yeah, you thought it was over, think again. This is just the beginning of their magical journey, filled with emotional resonance and hidden truths. Stay tuned, because this story is about to unfold in ways you never expected.